it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. To all of my wonderful subscribers, it was so much fun talking to y'all the other day on the porch. I mean, I truly felt like I was having a conversation and talking to you. It was so much fun and reading your comments, what y'all have been busy doing and everybody just trying to, you know, stay positive and active and healthy. Um, so I, like I said, I am ready for warmth and sunshine and just, I'm ready for family time. I'm ready for family cookouts and just summer parties and so that's what we're doing today. I have a little tote from Dollar Tree full of, I've got all these lemons that I've already hauled. Um, I have tons of strawberries from Hobby Lobby. Absolutely love them. I've got some blackberries from Hobby Lobby and this is all stuff just sitting around my house that I want just to play with. You know, give you some ideas and just have a little fun this afternoon. So, okay. Let's do it. And this little sign right here. This is some of y'all remember from Dollar Tree last year. And actually, they may still have them. Just a little foam. And it came with all the little letters. Or, yeah, little, little letters. And I just pressed it and I put uh, Raised on Sweet Tea and Jesus. So, I thought that was just so cute and kind of fitting for right here. And then, my shirt. I never got to show this shirt because it seems like everything just went upside down and crazy and no more shopping. But I did get this at Walmart before and it says blessed life on the front and it's got like yellow all around it and it reminds me of Sidley Southern. But on the back it says, let me see if you can see this, it says raised on sweet tea and Jesus. So hopefully you can see that. But I just thought it was just so cute and it was like $12. So whenever you do get to go to Walmart again and kind of shop around, I mean, check out all these little t-shirts. You know, $12, so cute and it's comfortable. But okay, I kind of got some allergy stuff going on in Kentucky. <laughs> Not sick, but you're afraid to like cough and sneeze or anything. But <laughs> all right, so I've got some of these vases from Dollar Tree. This is the really tall one and then just the normal size one they always have. I have some of the candlesticks. And like I said, this is all stuff just from around the house because I, <laughs> I'm kind of a hoarder and I just keep stuff everywhere. But all I'm going to do for my video, I'm just going to use hot glue because I like to change things around. But if you decide that you like this and you want to do it, you want to use an E6000 for a long term hold and then hot glue just for, you know, the quickness. But I've got my hot glue gun plugged in. I'm just going to do a little hot glue. It's kind of going around the edge. Like I said, mine is just to kind of play with and show you ideas. Can I get that centered? On there, just hold a little pressure. And then we are going to decorate these for summer. Oh, Bailey. <laughs> she is our wool guard dog. Yeah, she, she thinks she's bigger and tougher than what she is. Bless her heart. Okay. Ooh, that's running down the side. That's all right. Okay. She is in there growling. <laughs> it's somebody. I'm sure just walking outside. Okay. So I'm gonna kind of let those kind of sit and dry for a minute, and then let the fun begin. All right. I've got, like I said, these packs of lemons from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna drop those down in there. Okay, this big one will take four. Let's see, the smaller one, we can probably get three. Yeah, look at this. But, I don't know if you realize this, like these little glass jars, any jar at the Dollar Tree that has these lids, it fits on these too. So you can give it more of a fancy look. You know, now it's got like, What's it called? A apoc apothecary? Apothecary? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Like apothecary. Something like that. But yeah. You know, you can add a lid onto it. And it just kind of makes it look a little more fancy. And it does have that rubber stomper. You know, so it can like fit down in here to keep like little candies or something fresh. You can either cut that rubber stomper out and just, you know, kind of throw it away. Or this little ribbon. Once again, Hobby Lobby. But this is a navy and a white. This little spool 
was uh, on sale for a dollar. And then I also had this bright little white. I don't really know. But I'm going to use this navy and white. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to tie me just a pretty little, just a little classic bow. Just to cover up that where the rubber stomper is. Now we'll turn this around. Yeah, now just, now just a basic little, little bow. Just a little cutesy, little gingham bow. Navy and white. So you've got this look, and then you've got it like that. Throw a few strawberries. Just kind of adds, you know, a little punch to it, that little pop of red. But look how pretty these are. You know, it's to be so pretty sitting on a shelf or your table especially like you know if you're having like set a cookout and you have your lemonade and your ice pitcher like we every time we have like our family gathering i always have my galvanized ice pitcher and we put ice <laughs> that was loud i'm so sorry but yeah i always have our little galvanized you know ice pitcher out full of ice um it's just for when we do you know lemonade and we always have our sweet tea so when we have you know, sweet tea, I have this out. But okay, so you got these cute little ideas. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of move those, move those right there. And then, okay, I know all of this are clear shoppers, you know, but think too, like I found this, just this lid, just the lid on clearance at Hobby Lobby for 49 cents, you know? And I was like, okay, I'm taking that because I know eventually I can find something to do with this. And I did. So today, I started playing around with all these different things to see what it would fit. Let me get that sticker off there. This is also from the Dollar Tree. I guess it's a vase, a candle holder. I don't really know what this is. <laughs> but this is from Dollar Tree. Did I just say that? Yeah, Dollar Tree. So, but this... 49 cent fancy clearance lid fits on it. You know, look at that. Look how pretty that is. And what you can do is, because like I said, I just hot glued mine on. So I'm just gonna pop that sucker off. Now, if I wanted this one to be the tall, I will take my hot glue again. A little hot glue on this. Now remember for you, if you want yours to be stable because you're actually going to use it, use at least some E6000. Okay, let me hold that on there. Let this get dry so I can start playing with it. Let me open up another one of my packs of lemons. Okay, so I'm going to do like a lemon, a little strawberry, and then I know this was kind of like a weird thing. So I'm sticking one lemon up in this lid and that. Okay. <laughs> that's the only, I guess I started playing with this stuff before. But look at that. That is Dollar Tree. You know? Look how pretty that lid. And like I said, this was on clearance. This lid for 49 cents. I completely like just made my whole new thing. Very pretty. Okay. So that is another little option. Okay. Very pretty. Now, all these little strawberries that I absolutely love, highly recommend. They are from Hobby Lobby in like where all the um, the fruits and the vegetables are. It was $4.99, but I got it, you know, half off. So I got this whole big bag. And like I'm telling you, this bag was full for $2.50. So very, very worth it because they're so pretty and so like realistic looking. Love them, love to decorate with them. I have this, love this. This was also Hobby Lobby, the clearance last year, spring 66% off sale, but it looks like a little strawberry basket. So that's exactly you know, what I'm gonna do. Stick strawberries in there. But what I like to do, I'm gonna have it like, coming out felt like it fell over like it's spilling just randomly just kind of coming out of there so cute and just 
I love it. And once again, I have one of these little cute, adorable bees from Dollar General. I'm just gonna stick him, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just so cute. Look at that. Just those strawberries like this, they fell over, they're spilling out. And this adorable little bee on here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Can you see that? Yes, but look how cute. Just sitting around. You know, all this stuff just together. So cute. Okay, so there's it. I keep saying okay. You know, just some different heights. And then I have another one of my cute little ants. You know, like he's raiding the picnic. <laughs> I love all of this. And then another thing that we're gonna do is I have okay, I did just the camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Phil, I just look how pretty and cute all of this is. Oh, I mean these little ants, I'm telling you, I love these little ants. They are so much fun. <laughs> okay, so another thing, if you don't have this little basket from, you know, Hobby Lobby or whatever, Target Dollar Spot last year had these. I wanted white, but I could only find pink. It was around the um, Easter stuff last year. So this was for that. You could use that. Or, okay, you could also use the little terracotta pot from Dollar Tree. This would be really cute, too. <laughs> this would be really cute laid on its side with strawberries and stuff pouring out of it. But what I like to do is I don't like this bright, shiny terracotta look. So I like to take a little bit of white paint. I'm just going to put some on my little foam brush. Yeah, just you know, stick a little bit on there and just kind of hit and miss. You know, just kind of paint just some on there. And what I do is, this is kind of damp. I'm just gonna rub it. Kind of rub it in. Rub it all around. Because like I said, I don't want it perfect looking. I like it to be like old and rustic and distressed. <laughs> okay, so just, you know, kind of keep rubbing that. I just kind of gave it more of an aged look. So what you could do is lay this on its side. So what you do, you take this Dollar Tree terracotta vase, I keep saying vase, terracotta planter, pot, terracotta pot. <laughs> so you take your terracotta pot, fill it up with some strawberries, and let it fall over. You know, oh my gosh, so cute. So cute, and you decorate decorate your tear tray with something like this. I have my tear tray. I had to move it over there. This would be so cute on the tear tray, or like on a farmhouse riser that I made. Just oh, something like that on it. Maybe put a little bit of greenery around it. Okay, so that's another cute little thing. Now, another thing that I have. Okay, see, so, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, it's just, it's all just so cute. Look at, look at the height. You know, the colors, that, that pop of yellow, the red, this little white, and this adorable little bee. This red coming out with a little, I mean, who thinks to decorate with ants? But, oh my goodness, so cute. That, and then, like I said, take, if you don't have one of these little, like strawberry holders, a terracotta pot with like the strawberries just spilling out of it. So cute. I love, love it all. I've had so much fun like playing around with this stuff today. <laughs> okay, but now I'm gonna kind of skew this over just a little bit because I have more stuff to show you. But do you see that? Look at that. A little terracotta pot spilling out. So cute. Okay, so I just wanna move that out of the way for a few minutes. I'm going to do I love these. The Dollar Tree hobnail white plates. 
the plate and the solid plate. I absolutely love these. And if this is your first time seeing these, look how gorgeous they are. A dollar. It's just, it's so crazy to me. And it's such a good, sturdy plate. And really, because I just dropped those one a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> it didn't break. <laughs> with because it's that classic white and that hobnail to it just adds so much class to it uh, I don't know I, I can't say enough good things about these plates from the Dollar Tree okay now I do have one of the the foliage chargers from back in the fall you can always decorate using that but if you think that that's not like summery you, know, you don't have to use it but I'm going to show you something. And I think I may have to adjust my camera angle. So hang on one second because I want you, you don't need to see me, but I want you to see this plate. Okay, so I had to completely change, change angles so you could see what I was doing. That way you can kind of get the full what this looks like. Y'all recording? And angles, it's hard. It really is. So I'm telling you, to all of you YouTubers who've got this down, props to you. <laughs> But okay, this classic white hobnob dishes from Dollar Tree. Love them. So look at this. Okay, you could do. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Just that little pop of red sitting on that plate just completely changes it. Love it. But you know, I'm gonna lose this charger for a couple minutes. I mean, look at that. Just that little pop of red on these white plates as a centerpiece. Or as your, um, as your plate setting. Just that little pop of red right there. Then, you could also do some, just some greenery. I always have these little sprigs from Hobby Lobby. Just stick your lemon on there. Something like that. Just so simple. <laughs> I made, okay, so this is just one of those fat quarters from Walmart because I didn't have any linen, napkin, linen napkins. So I just made my own little napkin ring using some of this greenery that I always have around the house and a plastic shower curtain ring from Dollar Tree. You get a 12 pack for a dollar. Yeah, I just hot glue those on here. I'm gonna stick it in there, kind of like it's, you know, like a napkin ring. Move that out of the way. And put that on my plate. And look how pretty that is. <laughs> and do you see how pretty that is? That is just me hot gluing some of these onto a plastic shower curtain ring. I love it. I really, really love this. And if you wanted to add your little pop of red, okay. <laughs> you just do something like that. You know, just a little, just a little red. You want to go with a lemon? Yeah. You can do a lemon on there too. Just anything. Just so. Just play with everything that you have around your house. So much fun. This is just that little, little pop of red right there. Or you could do a lemon. It just kind of depends on how much you want to put on, a, put on a plate. This I got at Michael's. It was in the Easter section, kind of before everything closed down. Now these are um, Hobby Lobby lemons. You can probably tell a difference. They're more kind of like that rustic, or kind of more of a, a textured feel to them. A little bit, you know, different colored. But you know, I just kind of stuck them on here with some of my Dollar Tree ones. You can add some greenery. So add you some greens here and there. Decorate this up. Set this out. So cute. I seriously love all of this stuff. <laughs> okay. I have just a couple more things I'm going to show you. So I'm going to have to kind of move you back over here. Okay, now, 
this that I had from Easter where I stuck all the cute little Dollar Tree shirts in here. I love this y'all. This turned out so cute. One of my favorite like just easy little DIYs. So I'm gonna take all those carrots out of there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put lemons in here. Okay so I'm gonna take this that has all my lemons on it. I'm just gonna stick lemons in here now. I'm just gonna put lemons all around it. And once again, I'm going to put my daisies right back down in the center. And now I have the lemon vase with daisies. Love this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you stuff, around you, stuff you have around your house, just play with it. I mean, this is just a random vase that I've had around my house. Um, these daisies are from Michael's last year, but you know they will get them all back in. Um, there's actually one of these little, this thing right here is just some little white flowers from Dollar Tree. This is one little pick from Dollar Tree. So you could just get you a few of these. Well, I just kind of had mine in here to help fill it out even more. But look how pretty. That just screams summer. The vase with the lemons and daisies. I love it. <laughs> so simple, once again, so pretty. Okay, so I love that. <laughs> Another thing, and if you saw my Easter home tour, you probably saw this. This sits on the top of my hutch. This is the galvanized pitcher that I bought at Walmart. And I did, sorry, I did that big floral haul. This is that, that galvanized pitcher from Walmart, $7.97 in the flower section. Love this. Love this. Now this is two lemon picks from a local little store. It's called D's, D's of Louisville. But I got these two. I just stuck them together and just set them down in here. And it's so pretty. I mean, just look at that. Love it. So if you get you this picture from, so if you get you this this <laughs> picture from Michaels, just stick you some greenery and even lemons, you could stick them on some skewers. Just stick you some lemons on some skewers and then stick it out of it and make your own. But it's just, I love this. And I tell you what, being that tie, that poppy yellow on top of my white hutch right here, oh, I'm ready. I love it all. So pretty. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna show you something else real fast because I'm a little scatterbrained right now. I'm gonna show you how I did this. Um, <laughs> What's this called? Y'all, I'll tell you. Phew, my, you know, my, my issues I have, there's times I can just completely forget, just completely just forget everything I'm talking about, just everything. But, um, <laughs> sheesh. Yes, so, um, whatever. I'm going to show you how I made this real quick. Let's see. These things. Shower curtain ring, but I've turned it into the napkin, napkin ring. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is you just need you just need one shower curtain ring. I take two two of these little sprigs of the green ring. And I tell you what, you can get your hand. When you buy these, it's from from Hobby Lobby. I think it's like six dollars, but you know, always get it when it's fifty percent off. But it's a big bush. I mean, you get like a big, huge bundle. And I have these things all over my house. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, all I'm gonna do is take the shower curtain ring. It's just 
the clear one. I got my hot glue gun still plugged in right here. I'm just gonna do little, just a little line, hot glue kind of here and there. And I'm just gonna hold that down on there. Please do not burn yourself. <laughs> be very careful. Okay, just let it kind of get that little bond to it. So we've got that one. I'm just gonna move up just a little bit more. Just kind of put a little glue right here in the center. And just kind of lay my greenery down on it. Once again, I'm gonna push down a little bit. Don't burn yourself, just be very careful. Okay, so I got that. I'm just gonna move up a little again. Do that, make sure I'm still recording. Push that down. I record with my iPhone and for some reason, like sometimes it'll just stop recording. <laughs> I don't, it just, just quit recording. I'll look up, you know, in the middle of talking and doing something and it's not even recording anymore. Okay. Got that. Okay, that's one little, little sprig. Now, take my second one. And once again, see I start down here, like where that shower hook would actually hook together. So I'm just gonna start down there. So I'm gonna put my stem down here and I'm gonna hot glue that up, that piece. Just put some little hot glue right there. And I'll put my stem down in there and let it dry. Just burn myself. <laughs> Be careful, don't do what I do. Okay, I'm just gonna push that down with my fingernails. glue will get you. All right, once again, just kind of, you know, put me a little, little hot glue, just kind of around there. Just hold it down. Okay, there's that. All right, now I'm just going to do one more little dab of hot glue right here, and then I will be done with this. I'll just show you what it looks like. I just made me a cute, and you can do, you know, if you want a lot of greenery on here, go for it. I mean, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree has greenery. Because if you look, this little pick right here from, these little picks from, oh my gosh, my daggone head, <laughs> Dollar Tree. See, they have all these greenery on here now. Dollar Tree's really stepped up their flowers, but you could use that and glue this around on your shower curtain ring to make a, a napkin ring. But look at that. I just made me a cute spring little napkin ring. So cute. You know, you could, you could glue flowers on here if you wanted. You could do anything. But all I, you know, and you get it, it's a 12 pack for a dollar. Or Walmart has them for 97 cents. I just I did the clear. That way, you know, you wouldn't even see it. But it just makes the cutest little, little ring. And if you were making something, you could make, you needed something kind of small, you could just make you a little wreath. You know, you just, you know, add just some more. But okay. <laughs> this video was longer than what I, I, I normally do. Um, I apologize for forgetting things. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this. I hope you got some like, great ideas, some inspiration. Dollar Tree, um, like I said, I got the lemons a couple months ago. Like, you know, I think back in February is maybe when I did that haul. But um, yeah, so if you can get some of the lemons, I mean, when Hobby Lobby opens back up, they have lemons, Michael's has lemons. I wouldn't be surprised if Walmart doesn't start carrying them. But yeah, so just remember, this picture from Michaels get you if you can't find something like this it already has the the lemons on it just get you some greenery and just stick you some lemons like I said you could take some skewers and just stick it in the lemon and just have it kind of like popping out you know just kind of make your own 
is I know the little store D's, which I absolutely love, and I get a lot of my ribbon and stuff there. They don't ship. It's just a local store in Louisville, Kentucky. But, okay. <laughs> so, I can't, okay, I'm going to tell you real quick. My favorite is using all of these little, little bugs. You know, a dollar from Dollar General. Hobby Lobby has all this stuff, like, in their spring section. Like, it's more in the outdoorsy, like, where they have, um, like, bird feeders, you know, like, all the ceramic little stuff to put in your gardens. That's where this stuff is. It's just so cute. And like I said, you know, the little terracotta pots from Dollar Tree. You know, kind of put you some paint on there, rub it all in, get you, you get some of these strawberries. Just let it you know, kind of fall out and spill. What a cute little decoration this would be, especially on a tear tray. I love it. And that's probably something I'm going to do here very, very soon. I finally took all my Easter stuff down. <laughs> it is so sad taking holiday decorations down, you know, because you take forever putting it up. And then I just, I love the feeling when it's all up because everything in your house just, just feels warm and loving and I just, I love it all. So now I am bringing out, you know, it may be too soon for other people, but I need the pops. And these are little, <laughs> little pops of sunshine. So I'm ready for it. <laughs> okay, getting emotional, sorry, head stuff. But I hope you all have a great day. <laughs> if you made it this far, you're awesome. I love you, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, so if you did make it this far and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the little bell because some people don't get notified because they didn't know you have to hit the little bell and click all so but yeah i hope you all have a wonderful great day and i love y'all <laughs> bye guys